in the last part or the last lecture we added all the constraints so we can now move the fingers we can move the hands there's some cool IK IK action going on here and one thing that we need though for the when we're gonna make the animations is that we need a camera right so we can kind of we can see what the player would see in the game and um, it's really simple to add a camera. We what we want to do is we want to go to object mode and make sure that the cursor is centered as always, and then press Shift A and choose camera. And by default, it's kind of awkwardly rotated. <laughs> Not really sure why it's like that, but it just is. So let's go ahead and press Alt R to reset the rotation set the rotation to zero and then we also need to rotate it 180 degrees on the z-axis so press R and Z and 180 <clears throat> and then press R and X and type in negative 90 whoops not negative 90 it's 90 like that and so you should have this 90 0 and 180 because we want the camera to be looking forward right and the next thing we want to change is the uh, field of view so we can go to with the uh, camera selected we can go here and choose this one and we can set the lens unit to field of view instead of millimeters because in games usually there's you use field of view instead of actual millimeters and we can see that the field of view is very low it's like around 40 and uh, I think the default in games is like uh, around 90 90 to like 95 something like that and you know you can just set this to whatever you prefer uh, I usually prefer around 90 95 I think because it just gives that kind of wide angle look that most games have and uh, yeah so yeah let's go ahead and create a bone for this camera because we want to be able to animate it it's really cool where you can like add some like camera shake and stuff like that when you're shooting or when you're doing a reload you can add some some motion to the camera and to do that we actually need a, a bone for the camera so let's go ahead and select the rig in object mode and go to edit mode by pressing tab and then press uh, shift A to create a new bone and as always it's gonna be huge so <laughs> so let's just go into side view here and press G to move it and we can hold down control actually to move it uh, snapped so it kind of moves a bit more snapped but that didn't really work. Okay. Um, let's select the bone and go to bone properties. And let's set the tail Z, Z to be zero. So we want it to be completely flat on the Y axis basically, or on the Z axis, sorry. So just like a straight bone, straight out like this. And we can set this to like one. Doesn't really matter what this one is. Uh, it could be like this too but let's just keep it as one and as always parent this one to the root and we want to keep the deform on for this one because we want this bone to be to be exported with the rig so when we're exporting the rig we want uh, we don't want the controller bones to be included but we do want the, the camera bone to be included so let's just keep it as deform, even though it's not actually deforming the rig, but let's just keep it like that. And let's rename it to camera. Like that. Um, right, and now we can go back to object mode. And we can select our camera and let's also change the name of this one to first 
we can call it FP camera, first person camera, like that. And let's go ahead and add a constraint to it. So go to the object constraints and choose uh, child of here in relationship, choose child of, and then set the target to the rig and set the bone to camera like this. And now if we move the camera bone, we can see that the camera actually follows, which is very cool. And the camera itself is not gonna be exported when we export the rig. So the camera is only in Blender, but it's a really good reference if you wanna see like what the animations are gonna look like or kind of like the, the view that the player sees. So this is basically uh, what the player is gonna see in game. When you're working with this in like Unreal Engine or Unity, what you would do is you would uh, attach the game camera to this bone and it would actually uh, look the same as in Blender. We can also add some nice, uh, a nice uh, shape to this bone so it doesn't look like the, the default one. So let's go ahead and um, go to Bone Properties and Custom Object. And let's use cube shape one, maybe, or sphere, spear. I think the sphere looks good. Um, you can use whichever one you want, really. It doesn't really matter. It's just for the visual, the aesthetics, you know. But I think this looks fine. And let's also make the camera unselectable so that we don't actually uh, accidentally select the camera itself because we're only going to need to select the bone like this and we don't actually want to move the camera so if you go up here to the top right and enable this one so this is basically the option to make stuff uh, selectable or not so enable that and you can see this little arrow next to everything and let's disable that for the camera so like that and we can also go to object mode and let's just make it make it selectable again and we can make make it a, a child of the the rig to keep it a bit more organized right so let's go to here object properties and relations and set the parent as the rig like that so now we actually have the camera inside the rig here it makes it a bit a bit cleaner and uh, a bit nicer to work with. And now we can actually disable it again. There we go. And now we can move the camera and we can rotate it and scale it. Let's disable the scale. We don't need the scale. <laughs> and if you wanna preview what this looks like, you can actually look, uh, press uh, the zero numpad key on your keyboard and um, yeah, as expected, there's really nothing here. Uh, there's nothing to be seen. And we might want to add some uh, some reference uh, uh, objects. And usually I just add like a few cubes around here. So you actually have some kind of reference to what the character is seeing and like how the, what the environment looks like. Uh, especially if you're animating the camera. If you're like rotating the camera, it's really hard to tell if there's no like objects in the scene. But uh, we'll get to that a bit later in the next section. But yeah, this is fine for now. And we got the camera all set up. Very cool. And uh, yeah, that's it for this lecture. And in the next one, we are going to actually start skinning the arms to the, to the rig and make the model actually move. So yeah, I'll see you in the next lecture.